Hey y'all, so I am back with another video. Um, and I'm at my office, I'm trying to get y'all a different view because y'all don't probably want to see <laughs> like my little table or whatever. But anyway, hey y'all, how's it going? Um, okay, so real quick, I just wanted to give y'all an update. The last time I made a video, I talked about the upcoming psych eval that I was going to have. And so I had that appointment, which went really well. It definitely wasn't what I thought it would be. Um, I thought more time was going to be spent speaking with the actual psychologist, but um, I guess it was kind of like half and half. And so when I got there, I checked in and then they had me go into... A room that had a computer and so um, I had to complete an assessment on the computer which seemed to focus more on um, like how people adjust to um, like illnesses and things like that so it, it asked a lot of questions um, it was over a hundred questions like true or false I think um, but it, and I, I won't put, well, I will list the assessments in the description box below because, again, <laughs> y'all probably don't care what assessment it was. But and they had me fill out three paper assessments. And so one was an anxiety scale, um, the other was a depression scale, and then uh, the last one was a, um, an assessment about your your like your eating patterns and things like that and so I filled all of that out in the end um sorry I don't have my stand because since I decided I wanted to sit on the couch today my stand is at the desk so I'm holding the phone with my hand but so after I filled out the assessments I went to meet with the psychologist and I thought it was going to be like a super in-depth um like face to face assessment but it wasn't and so he really just asked me like what current supports i have in place as far as like um people or um like family friends am i a part of a support group which i am um the facility where i plan to get the surgery they offer an online support group through facebook so i, I joined that a while back and then they uh, he asked about my current eating habits and what changes I've made, how I'm monitoring my food, um, asked about my mental health history and any coping strategies that I use. Um, let's see, what else did they ask? Asked about like my health in general and how I cope with my health and what um, physical activities I'm doing to help manage my weight, what I've tried in the past to help manage my weight. Um, he offered a book suggestion, which I will put a picture of it in the video. I'll probably put it up here. So I'm pointing to it so I can remind myself to put it here. And then I'll link it in the description box below. Um, I bought it on Amazon and, um, and so he gave me a book recommendation and then um, asked me how my visits have been going with um, the nurse practitioner. And um, asked a little bit about like family, what I do with my family and um, what I do for work. And um, it was, I feel like it was pretty fairly general. Like I didn't feel um, as emotional as I thought I would because I really thought <laughs> they was going to dig deep into stuff but um, he told me I was on the right track and it seems like I have good coping strategies and supports in place so I'm sure that helped and um, I told him I plan to see a therapist because since this is a significant life event I think it would be important to do so so he agreed with that and he 
is like he doesn't see any reason why I couldn't move forward with having the surgery. So he gave me the stamp of approval. Ding. Excuse my ashy hands. Um, but he said that he cleared me for the surgery from a psych standpoint. And so um, I want to say a few days later or maybe some time passed after that appointment where I had another appointment with the nurse practitioner for my monthly weigh-in. And so at the last time I had met with her, my goal was to lose five pounds. I did not meet the goal, unfortunately. I was only able to lose three of the five pounds, which is fine. Um, and they're really good. Like they commend you for you know losing any kind of weight and, and staying on track and things like that and so I, I was only able to lose three of the five and a half pounds that they wanted me to lose and so um so instead of meeting again in another month we're gonna meet in two weeks and since I'm late posting this video I actually meet with her next week um because she said she wanted to check in in two weeks to see if I could lose the last two and a half pounds. And if I do meet that goal, then she will push me through to um, insurance approval. So it sounds like she has to get prior authorization through my insurance once I meet my weight goal. And then after the insurance thing, it sounds like the next step is to get me on the schedule for surgery so this is moving pretty quickly I feel like I initially reached out to them or they reached out to me actually because that's when my primary doctor put in the referral it was like last July and then I went to that appointment last year and then time passed and I was like mm, I ain't doing it and then January of this year I was like mm, maybe I should reconsider and so I guess I really started focusing on following the program January of this year 2024 and so between January and now which is April I've had several appointments with the nurse practitioner I was able to meet with the actual surgeon and go over the surgery options um, and just to get more information about um, what each surgery offers or you know the risks and things like that and then I had the psyche valve check and then if I meet my two and a half pound goal next week, I get moved to the insurance process. And then after that scheduling, and she said that right now, the surgeon is scheduling out to June of this year. So um, who knows, your girl may have some surgery <laughs> in the summer, the fall, I don't know. But I guess I'll know more after this upcoming appointment next week. Um, what else happened? Um, nothing else really been happening. I've been just trying to follow my plan. And of course, everything is not perfect, but this is a journey, not a sprint. Um, any other updates for y'all? No, not really. Um, I've just been working, work from home, it's going okay. And I, I apologize for the moving camera. Um, work from home is going okay, it's different, but different is good. Um, it's a, a little slower pace than I'm used to, but I feel like I've worked enough over the past several years that I deserve a break. Um, if you can't tell, I'm getting a, a ton of gray hair, which I need some color. And um, so that's happening, gray hair. I'm having some issues with my skin. So I'm having a lot of breakout around my mouth. And I'm wondering if that is due to my um, CPAP mask. Um, initially I thought it was like a, an allergic reaction, but I'm starting to think it's the CPAP machine. Um, and with the PCOS, I do get a lot of like chin hair, so I have to pluck that, pluck that every couple of days and it's leaving like dark marks, if y'all can see that. So that's annoying and then mustache. So I have a lot of extra facial hair due to PCOS and that's a whole nother 
video thing that I I'm so over it with my PC OS journey that I I will spare y'all the details anyway that's where I'm at I'm just trying to lose my two and a half pounds and then go from there but um, I hope to start posting some videos y'all I don't be feeling like doing nothing cooking to be specific but I'm I'm working on it it's a work in progress um, but anyway um, I just wanted to provide that quick update thank you guys for watching um, please make sure you like share comment and subscribe I truly appreciate the support and I will see you next time bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.